The aim of this video is to basically have a little look at uh, what sort of software you can get to run on Windows Neptune these days. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I know that various people are interested in the possibility of using a pre-release Windows operating system as a main operating system. The immediate concern there is the lack of protection from things like viruses, etc. Obviously there are no Windows updates for Neptune because it was never released. What I've decided to do for this video is I've actually loaded a disk that I use for Windows 2000 which I still run on my machine, dual boot with Windows 8.1 at the moment. And this is basically a selection of software which is either the latest version that will run on Windows 2000 or it contains software that is in some way hacked so that it will work on Windows 2000. So this is the selection of software I usually install when I install Windows 2000 which these days is rarely because I have it up and running pretty well I don't need to reinstall it. So I thought it would be interesting to find out whether any of these things will work on Neptune because the version number of Neptune is actually higher than Windows 2000's version number. 2000 is NT5 and Neptune is NT5.5. Interesting thing that comes along with that versioning is that also if you get yourself a Neptune install CD and put it into a Windows XP machine it will ask you if you want to upgrade because obviously XP is only NT5.1. So let's see if any of this stuff will install. Um, I'm going to start with AVG, that's probably a good idea. Antivirus. While it's doing that, why don't we try something like Defragler. Okay, defragler loads, will it actually defrag? It would appear so. Excellent. So defragler works, let's stop that. Right, let's try AVG9. This is the latest version to work with Windows 2000. It's probably going to take a while actually. Oh. No. How about Adobe Reader? No. Flash Player. Well, the IE version appears to have worked. Now I think I've actually upgraded this to IE6 on here, or IE5. I can't remember what the latest version is that works on Neptune. 5.5. Right, let me see if YouTube will work. Might be a little bit slow because I'm actually downloading something. Let me go and stop it. There we go. Right, can I get a YouTube video to play? Don't see why not actually. To be honest, I think this might be a consequence of the specs of the virtual machine as opposed to Neptune. I think I might come back to that. Alright, what else can we try? Let's see if um, this works. This is a hacked install. Adobe Reader 10 doesn't install at Windows 2000 normally. I'm going 
going to need to close that because it's slowing everything down. Well done, IE. Well, I need to update the Windows installer service. Do I have that on here? No, I suppose it would be interesting to see if any of these Windows 2000 updates work. Let's try WinZip 14.5. Oh yes, don't tell any, anyone, but I do have a serial. No, that doesn't work either. A specy must work. Nope. Not doing very well so far, are we? Skype. Direct X9. I'll try Nero as well. Is that he's still open at the bottom? Come on. Go away. It's taking a while. Let's have a look at the start screen. I believe some of these work because I've changed the shortcuts. Yeah, it's being a little bit slow now. Oh, I still love doing this. <laughs> 